Hi everyone, I'm Dan Simons with Farmers Restaurant Group. I wanted to talk to you today about the financial health of our nation's farming industry. Did you know that on average the American family farmer only receives 17 cents of every dollar that we spend on food? How's that possible? How is it that the person that creates the product, manages the land, takes the huge risk, and they only get 17 cents of each dollar the consumer spends? Think of a five pound bag of potatoes. The average national retail price for that bag is $3.29. At every step in the process, a cut's taken. Processing, wholesaling, distribution, retail, marketing, legal fees. And when all is said and done, only 60 cents remains for the farmers who created those potatoes. And potatoes are better than average as far as income for farmers. A single box of cereal retailing at $4.79 only brings in a nickel for those farmers that produce the food in that cereal box. In 1952, it was 47 cents out of every dollar. And to be clear, that's not profit. That's their top line revenue. Load in all their costs, and it doesn't take a genius to figure out family farming is a risky business. This is why my partners in the restaurant are farmers, individual farmers and family farmer organizations like the North Dakota Farmers Union. We're pioneering an economic model where farmers own equity in the final step of the food supply chain. And that final step is the meal on the plate and the drink in the glass. Our goals are threefold. One, to allow farmers to profit from consumer spend, even if they didn't produce the food directly. Two, to increase the overall demand for family farmed product, both directly through our restaurants and indirectly through influence on the consumer and the restaurant industry. And third, to learn and educate about family farming versus big corporate agriculture. So let's ensure we support what is so important by thinking long term about the backbone of our food supply chain, which is the American family farmer.